Well, hello, hello. Uh, different setup today. I'm using my iPad and my phone to record this video. Uh, so essentially, uh, if you watched my haul a couple days ago, I found a couple of these like advent calendars from Crazy Bins. So a knockoff Lego one and this fidget toy one. Uh, after I posted that video, I was like about to tear into these boxes and just work them all into my stash. But then the kid in me. Yeah, you know what? I started to get really excited, so I figured I might as well open these up on camera. I do have like two more boxes of these with this are identical. Just no need to tear into those live. Uh, so yeah. Hi, if you're new. Uh, my name is Nicole, or Kit Nicole if you saw my username, and I primarily right now just uh, do uh, videos for Operation Christmas Child, so some shopping hauls, packing videos, making it a little bit easy this year because my schedule is packed like a shoebox. So anyways, we'll get right into these. I'm trying to decide the best approach, I think I'll just like bounce between one and the other, I don't know. Ooh, sick. I like this. Okay, there's that one. This one isn't... Oops, got tape stuck again. Yeah, so there's this. That's kind of the other side. It's a little strange. I don't know how or why they did it that way. Like, I don't know. Should I do it this way? Should I do it backwards? Yeah, why not? Yes. This is number one. Ooh. See, I'm really going in blind because it's hard to see myself on the iPad, but... Okay, so... Nice, nice. I'm not going to build this on camera. I might have to do another video of me assembling these all. Or I might just keep it as is. Based on the instruction sheet, it looks like it's supposed to be a little crab. Cool. So that's one in this box. This one. Ooh, what is this? Tape. Why is there tape on the inside? Don't you dare. Oh. Fidgety toys in this one. It's more like so these are not really fidgety toys. Just little Christmas ornaments. Oh, there it is. I could go in order, but I could either order the numbers or order the doors. Where's the fun in that? Alright, so we've got a blue critter here, and based on the construction, looks like it's a little dragonfly. Cool, cool. Now, number two. Oh yeah, you look like number two. I don't know if you taped on the inside. And it is. It is so totally taped on the inside. I need scissors. Okay, back with scissors. Don't know why they did that, but... Oh, nice. Alright, some of y'all are gonna like this. One of those slap bracelets. Nice. Really cute. This one looks to be another bug. Oh, 
so we got a couple small bells in that one. Hmm. Yellow in this. Okay, we're out of the bugs now. This one seems to be a little lion. So not too, nothing too special. Number four, just another bell. Got some whites and grays. Nice. So this one is a shark. All right. So number five here is one of those little squishies. I remember one time one of my coworkers bought a random bag of these squishies and was just like passing them out at work for fun. That was great. Carried in my lunch bag for a while. And it turns out it's supposed to be an elephant. Okay, so it's kind of like the one that I actually had. It's a uh, little squishy bear. Except mine was a different color. Blue, blue, I like that. All right, and this one appears to be a swordfish. And there's one more in here. So we've got some little fancy clothespins. Picture's not really displayed much on the outside of this one. It'll be a little bit hard to see here part of the building structure. I think this one's supposed to be an anteater. Alright, this one here has a nice little tree. I'm not really a fan of people that make complicated packaging. Especially for children's toys. We want to get in and out as fast as we can. Hey. So this one appears to be an ant. How appropriate, an ant eater in the last one. So here we've got one of those uh, twisty snakes. Okay. Not a clear picture of what's in here. Writing out a line, so I'm not quite sure what this one's supposed to be. Okay, so this is one of those uh, fidget rings. All right, so we've got one row down. That's a bingo, I would say. And okay, this one's a little bit more colorful. From the looks of it, I think this one is a fish. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cute. That's cute. So we've got this uh, really stretchy unicorn. I guess a little hole for a keyring or something, but I haven't. I can't say I've seen any fitted toys like this. And this one looks to be a little bug of some sort. So number 12 came with two little cards. More blue. 
<laughs> this one appears to be a hippo. This is a different color fidget ring. Starting to tear this box apart. All right. So we've got some brown. Let's see here. It's a little hard to tell, but it looks like it's supposed to be one of those lantern fish. Ooh, there we go. There's a big one. box idea this would be great in. Yeah this one's all red but again the way the instructions are folded. What I can tell is gonna be some kind of bug. And, oh 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 okay cute so here you got Three little hoops. You got something in your hands. That's cute. And I'm just thinking if uh, let's get some of those, say, Lego dolls. Um, this would actually be a great additional accessory to put in them. And they don't quite show the picture as well, but then I think based on the cover of the box, this one's supposed to be a raptor. Ooh, okay, these bring back some memories. This. Sticky, stretchy, gooey, I don't know, slime things. Pretty much where you can throw it up against the wall and it'll stick. Emery's. <laughs> this box is starting to come apart. Ooh. Oh, another bingo. Okay, we got yellow. Guessing it's supposed to be a bee. Now oh, these feel a little too stiff, the erasers, but maybe they're just old from sitting, but I think it's got the little holes on the bottom. Oh, some pencil toppers. Santa his reindeer and snow reindeer. top row now. It's kind of tempting to just like rip the face of this box off. That's okay, more yellow. And this one looks like it's a giraffe. Alright, we've got another squishy here. And it looks like it's a little kitty or a lion. We've got a turtle. <laughs> Alright, so we got some peanuts. Oh, with faces. Cute. We are in the home stretch now. Ooh, we've got some dark green. I like that. Her picture, I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a crocodile. Alright, so here we've got another slap bracelet.
feel like I'm missing one. Oh, there we go. 21 was hiding. And I opened the door the wrong way. I can't tell what this one is. I think it's supposed to be like another dinosaur or something like that. Okay, so these are just little fun balls. I don't know what they like for my ring light, but we've got solar flare happening here and we're at the nebula. Not bouncy balls, but roll around nonetheless. Okay, 22. Almost there, guys. I'm so glad I was able to uh, retime these in post so you didn't have to sit through a half hour and then lock them. Got a lot of gray, and looks like we've got a rhinoceros. Alright, so 22 seems to be the same as 21 almost. Except we've got a little more of a Christmas thing going on, and there is actually a marble on the inside. flip the pictures around. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so this looks like another kind of crabby creature. Cool. Squishy, and this one looks like it's just a star. Nice. All right, last one on each side. This is getting so destroyed. What's nice is like the lid, if you remember back to the beginning, has a nice picture on it. So it's like we're doing this for your kids at home. It's it's good. It's got something nice to play on. Drum roll. All right, all right. So this one has an eagle. Cool. There is that. And now, 24. That is the biggest one on this side. That's cute. Oh. oh wow. Alright, so we got a little snowflake stencil. And then here are three little stuff but three little stockings. That is so cute. That is so cute. I like that. Thanks guys for uh, watching today. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of an unboxing, an advent calendar unboxing. That was kind of interesting. Um, I don't like how they put so much tape on the inside of this one. It's like, come on, you want this stuff to come out, right? But anyways, um, it's very tempting to do a video where I build all of these, but I don't think I will for this time. But one thing I, oh, what I am gonna have to do is like all these bags are like double bags. So I am gonna have to 
do a little bit of waste management but that's all right so anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um thankfully for video editing and speed ramping and things like that that this video came out to be a lot shorter than it actually is and so i think i was I'll say goodbye, spread these out all nice, give you a nice shot of it, and that's it. So, have yourselves a good day, happy shoeboxing, and stay blessed. Bye!